So it's bait and switch season, you saw? <laughs> What's bait and switch season? That's that's what that's what that's what we used to call elections, you know? There used to be elections in this country, now it's all bait and switch. So the big they're pulling out the big guns now. Oh, it's Democrats, they're pulling out the big guns, right? Pulling out Obama. <laughs> fucking Obama. Remember him? Remember fucking Mr. Excellent? Mr. Obama? Ah, fucking Obama, man. He's on, he's on, he's over talk rallying the college kids. Fucking ignorant masses telling him about with his perfect, with his perfect diction and his perfect suit and his perfect and proper, properness. In all his properness, he's telling people, if you want change in this country, vote. Okay? But what happened in 2016? Everybody went for the change in Bernie Sanders. They got the... They got, they got shafted by you. You think we forgot about that, Obama? Do you think that, do you think that the smart people paying attention, the real, the youth of America, forgot about that? Do you think that 40% of the independents in this country forgot that, that you sided with Hillary Clinton and the exit polls didn't match and the, 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 the voters were purged off the rolls and election Bowling, I'm, I'm going the other way. This guy's fucking ready to run me over. Well, it can't be more than <laughs> I think there's a there's some kind of football game going on or some shit. Or hockey. <laughs> By Madison Square Garden. But anyway, so Obama, Mr. Excellent. Very sad day when you see that, right? Because where's he been? Right? Where the hell has Obama been lately? He said he's he's on TV saying, oh, I had to take care of my wife and my kids. Right? Uh, Ex-president supposed to fade into the woodwork, fade away gracefully. But we didn't forget. We know who you are, Obama. You got your twenty million dollars here and your fifteen million there. You got your Goldman Sachs account, Lloyd Blank fund, mm -hmm. spending all your money, country club. Right? The rest of us still walking the streets is with my mother's umbrella. Fucking Obama. What a joke. What a fucking joke. Right? What do you get? What do you get? You get he's he's rallying the troops for November 6th. I told you it's a big deal. They're trying to get a majority in the in the House and the Senate. It doesn't matter anymore. Because it's not a fight about the people who gets like it's not about it's not about the people anymore. It's not uh, the people win by voting Democrat. It's no matter who they vote for, they lose because the elections are rigged. Ooh, I almost got hit by a clock. But it's about power. It's about what clown, what what clowns on what side of the aisle are going to get are going to get the lion's share of the stealing. Right? That's really what it's come down to. You know, that's democracy. Uh oh, it's gonna get loud in here. <laughs> Fire engine. So it's a rainy day in New York, nothing changes here, right? But what a clown, man. You read that transcript. Come on, New York's bravest. New York's bravest. Hats off. 9 11. But you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's, I don't know what I want to say. It really, it irks me when I see that. I see an ex-president, so, so proper, Mr. Excellent. I love, I love that. He, he really fits the bill of Mr. Excellent. And um, he's talking about, he's talking about the whole shit is all about elections, right? And of course he's right. If they were true and fair and, and, and legit, it, it would be a, a wonderful message. Get out and vote. But do you think that the 40% of the country, the independents in this country, forgot about that? I don't think so. I, I, I just don't think so. I think that people are, are aware and a, a, just a little smarter than that. Does Obama have any sway? People like Trump. Trump is... Trump's still, Trump, at least Trump's got balls and he's saying something... At least he's challenging the media, although the media is in itself isn't 
is just a function of the corporate oligarchy, but but at least he's doing something. What does Obama offer? Obama, vote for corporate Democrats so they could steal more of your money. Vote for corporate Democrats. You'll never get universal single-payer health care. Vote for corporate Democrats. They'll lay down and let the Republicans, you know, pat them, you know, just roll over and die. No change there. Mr. Change. Hope. Hope. Remember Mr. Hopeful? Hope. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, man. That's what our politics have become. Bunch of clowns, bunch of jokers. Obama. Obama. Remember when he hugged Hillary? Ah. Uh, just hugging Hillary. Remember that shit? The fucking guy hugging Hillary Clinton. The criminal. Now he's on TV. He took his head out of the sand. He's on TV telling kids to vote. Voting's good. You'll feel good about yourself. Go knock on some doors and vote. Biggest hypocrite in the world right now. Hypocrite number one. Obama. And this Marcus Conti reporting on this rainy day in New York. Peace out.